Hello there, Itra here. Today we're going to be covering off quite a lot of information. We're going to be covering off trade ships and loading speed, movement speed, time to transfer between game maps, variants depending on which ship you're using, how much cargo they have in there, items you can equip in ships. So there's going to be a lot of data. There's going to be a spreadsheet we're going to go over. Links down below if you want to download the spreadsheet directly. Now, the calculations on the spreadsheet are based upon you having the basic 300 points of influence invested into trade ships, giving you the 25% movement speed for your cargo ships. If you do enjoy today's video, appreciate any subscription to the channel and any likes on the video, and comment down below if there's a particular guide you would like me to cover off next. So let's get straight into the data. Okay, so there is a lot of information, and I'm not going to be going over every little bit of data. Just my overview and findings on each of the tabs. So the first one is regards to how much speed do you lose per cargo ship that slot is full. As you can see, the clippers and airships have the biggest drop-off curve, and then the steam cargo ship and the Great Eastern has the slowest and the largest cargo. Okay, and on the second tab, we're going to be going over how much time do you actually lose on a transfer between game maps if you have items in your hold. All these times are based on timings between the old world and the new world. So up here we actually have a percentage based on how much cargo there is in the hold. As you see, airships and clippers have the biggest drop off and the steamships have the least amount of drop off. Now, if we actually have a look at timings themselves, you can actually see the clipper cargo ship and Great Eastern all have the same base level time and the airship has a much reduced speed. And over here we have the spreadsheet graphs to give you a guideline. And then down here we actually have a physical calculation of the seconds per cargo. We have the number of items available on full capacity and the number of seconds it takes per cargo one way. And then we also have a calculation over here going one way full and then returning empty. As you can see, the airship and the steamship have very similar time per second when going one way. But returning empty, the airship will get a much quicker reduction because of its baseline re speed reduction. Next, we're going to be going over cargo slowdown and movement speed items. These times were based on a cargo ship full from the old world to the new world, which had a base time of 5 minutes and 8 seconds. With items in the hold to reduce cargo slowdown by 100%, we actually got an 8% reduction on the time it took to transfer, which is 4 minutes and 41. Now, the strange thing about this is with the 100% cargo slowdown, it increased the movement speed of the ship back to its default amount. However, it didn't reduce the transfer between game maps to default. It only reduced it by 8%, so that's a bit strange. Now, if we have a look at movement speed plus 50% in the ship, we got a 31% reduction on the time, down to 3 minutes 30 seconds. And if we do a combination of the two, 100% cargo slowdown and the best ones I had at the time was 45% speed reduction in the two cargo shots available in the cargo ship we got a 34% reduction down to 3 minutes 23 on the next tab we have timings for the cargo ship Great Eastern and airship when having no items in their cargo hold how long does it take to transfer between each of the individual different maps? And in the last tab, we're going to be going over loading and offloading times. In my findings, all ships have the exact same time to offload and load. The only thing that matters here is the tier of the pier and the items you have in your ship's item slots to increase loading speed. Tier 2 pier will half the time to load and offload. And over here, you actually can see 
tier one peer it takes half a second, tier two is a quarter of a second. And over here, I've done calculations here that you can type in the number of items you're going to be offloading and all loading at a tier one, and it will give you the baseline in seconds. And if you had 150% loading speed, you have calculations here and 75%. These are the most common late game percentages. So you actually can type in here the number of items you're going to be looking at and it'll give you a live calculation. So what is one of the best items you can have in your cargo ship's slot? Let's have a look. My personal opinion, it is her. She has movement speed loading speed and cargo slowdown speed she takes every single box available and gives you one or the slot to put in here hopefully you enjoyed today's video stay safe out there and i'll catch you on the next one